So let us look at an example of how we can go from melee to more. So let us write a melee graph here. And we don't really care about exactly which problem this transition graph is solving. We will just make a graph that is useful for our example and to show how we go from melee to more. So we're going to have four states. If we are in S0 and get a 0 as an input, we also get a 0 as an output. If we have a 1 as an input, we have a 1 as an output and we go to S1. For S1, if we have a 0 as an input, we stay in S1 and we output a 0. And with a 1 as an input, we go to S2 with a 1 as an output. For S2 with a 0 as an input, we will go to the state S3 and we will output in this case a 1. And if we have a 1 as an input, we will go back to state S0 and here we will output a 0. And finally, if we are in state S3 and we have a 0 as an input, we go back to state S2 with a 1 as an output. And if we have a 1 as an input, we will stay in S3 with a 0 as an output. So this is a melee graph and what we want to do now is to convert it into a more graph. So what do we need to do when we want to convert it to a more graph? Where well, we need to look at the entering edges to each of the states. So if we look at the state S0, the entering edges here is this edge and this edge here. And what we can see is that both these edges will output a 0. So in this case we don't have to do anything more for the S0 state. If we look at the S1 state, if we look at the entering edges, we have one edge that outputs a 1 and we have one edge that outputs a 0. So this we need to split into two different states. So for S2, we have one edge that enters that outputs a 1 and we have the other one that, are in, that enters that outputs a 1. So we don't have to do anything with the S2 state. And finally, for the S3 state, we have also two edges entering, one that gives us an output 1 and one that gives us an output 0. So we also need to split state S3 into two different states. So let us now write our state machine as follows. So we have S0, which we didn't have to do anything with. And then we have S1, which we had to split into two states. So we call this S1, 0 for all the edges that are entering that outputs the value 0. And then we have S11, that symbol would take all the entering edges that outputs a 1. And then S2, we don't have to do anything with because all the entering edges will output a 1. And for S3, we also need to split this into two states. So we call this S3, 0 for the edges that outputs a 0 and S 3, 1 for the edges that outputs a 1. So now we just write our graph. So from S0, if we have a 0 input, we will output a 0. If we have a 1 as an input, we now go to the state S1, 1 and we output a 1. In S1, 0, if we input a 0, we will output a 0. So in this case, we stay in this state S1, 0 here. If we input a 1, then we go to state S2 in this case, and we output a 1. For S1, 1, if we input a 0, well, we are staying in state 1 in the melee machine, but in this more machine, we need to go to the state S1, 0 because this is the one that collects all the edges that outputs a zero. And for a one input, we again go to state S2. For the state S2, if we input a zero, we should output a one, which means that we go to the state S3, one, because this collects all the edges that outputs a one. So here we have zero, one in this case. If we have S2 and we input a one, we will go to state S0 here and 
going to the last state or the last pair of states in this case if we are in S3 zero and we input a zero we go to S2 and we output a one. If we input a one we should output a zero so that means we stay in the state S3 zero here and the last state that we need to consider is S3 one so if we here have input zero we go to S2 and we output a 1 and for the input 1 we're going to output a 0 so here we go to S3 0. So now we have come halfway of making our mealy graph to a more graph we see that all the edges that enters a state will output the same value. However it is not really a more graph yet because in a more graph the output should only depend on the current state and not the input and this is not the case. So what we need to do is take all the outputs from our entering edges and put them as the output inside our state. So we write it in more form as follows. So for S0 all the entering edges has a 0. For S10 all the entering edges has a 0. For S11 all the entering edges has a 1. For S2 all the entering edges has a 1. And for S30 all the entering edges has a 0. And for S31 all the entering edges has a 1. And now we just add the edges but we do not give the output on our edges. So we have the following edges like this. So we have the one here for S10. We have the zero input going back and the one input will go to S2. For S11 we have the zero input going to S10 and the one input will go to S2. For S2 we have the zero input going to S31 and we have the one input going back to the state S0. For S30 we have the zero input going back to S2 and the one input is going back to S30 and for S31 we have the zero input going to S2 and we have the one input going to S3, zero. So this here is our more graph that corresponds to the Mealy graph that we have here. They will produce the same output sequence given the same input sequence. However, the more graph will output the output sequence one time unit delayed compared to the Mealy graph. And also to realize this more graph we needed to add in this case two extra states to our state transition graph. And if we would have wanted to go backwards from the more graph to the mealy graph what we would do is that we would take these outputs here that we have in our states and we would just put this as our entering edges instead to our state and after that we would have reached this graph and when we have this graph we can do the RF algorithm to write the graph on its reduced form and after writing it on the reduced form we would have eventually got our mealy machine back.